The tibial nerve supplies both the superficial and the deep posterior compartment muscles. The superficial compartment muscles will be the gastrocnemius, soleus and plantaris. And the deep compartment muscles in the posterior, posterior compartment will be tibialis posterior, flexor hallucis longus, flexor digitorum longus and the popliteus within the knee joint. All of these are supplied by the tibial nerve. So the tibial nerve comes all the way down. It lies quite deep between the superficial and the deep posterior compartments. And then it runs in the midline, deep structure and runs behind the medial malleolus along with the posterior tibial artery and then goes to the sole of the foot to divide into the medial and lateral plantar nerves. One important surface marking you should remember at this point will be to surface mark the sural nerve. To surface mark the sural nerve, it's easy if you have the, the short surface vein as a guide. So to identify the short surface vein, just identify the lateral limb of the dorsal venous arch from here. The run behind the lateral malleolus, that's quite important, behind and inferior to the lateral malleolus. Then come to the Achilles tendon. And now a line drawn all the way up here in the midline and emptying into the popliteal vein will be the surface marking of the short saphenous vein. So to repeat, the short saphenous vein arises, starts from the lateral limb of the dorsal venous arch, runs behind the lateral malleolus, comes towards the Achilles tendon, then runs quite superficially in the midline all the way up into the popliteal fossa where it empties into the popliteal vein in the saphino popliteal junction. To surface mark the sural nerve, identify the tibial nerve and a dotted line drawn from the tibial nerve alongside the short saphenous vein. all the way down towards the lateral aspect of the foot will be the lay of the sural nerve. So the sural nerve supplies sensation to the lateral side of the foot and this part of the ankle.